eerie kind of storytelling, um, wonderful location, uh, two very kind of provocative, fascinating uh, women cast. And I really liked this. I thought that it was really, really dynamic um, between the two girls, but also just the way that they filmed it and the way that they set it up and the house that they were filming in. Um, everything about it just felt very, very dynamic to me. And it just felt like heavier and more intense. And the music reflected that, the costumes reflected that, the dancing itself reflected that. And when you have all of those things working towards something that all kind of contribute, you really get the feel of it. And then you really can be like with them in that moment because everything is working towards that same kind of feel. And that's what I got personally out of watching this. I thought this one was just really interesting. Um, had this real cinematic quality to it um, from the location to the cinematography itself to even some of the lighting choices I thought were just all really strong, worked together really well. And um, yeah, just the way they hung on certain shots and, uh, you know, of course the dance itself, I, I can't speak too much to it, not don't really come from a dance background, but um, it seemed uh, very strong, fun to watch. Um, and yeah, I just, again, I just love the overall quality of the way this was directed and put together. And for that reason, I think it's definitely worth checking this out. This was oh. eerie and dreamy from start to finish. Um, this old tattered and peeling mansion was the perfect setting for this gothic symphony. Um, picture was crisp and satisfying throughout. Uh, sound was well balanced and everything fit really. Uh, the scene with the tunnel vision was properly menacing. Um, it's clear to me definitely that all the creators involved throughout this process uh, gave it everything they possessed or maybe were possessed by. Um, and I might have rewatched this just a few times, so I really like this one. It was a really interesting environment. It once seemed regal, like the one uh, character, um, and then the environment you feel is slowly decaying, which is almost encompassed by the other dancer. And um, there's just a really compelling choreography to this piece of things I've, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen before. Um, there was this really cool ghostly relationship between the two and uh, I loved th the balance between being restrained which felt like of the past and then this like reckless abandon and trying to find a medium between the two and can they they live with each other in the same space. It's really really solid very well done um, I love the setting you know I, I feel like it was it's, it's like the chandelier music video um, I feel like it was probably heavily inspired by that just by the use of the camera and uh, you know I hope everyone wore masks in that uh, with all the paint chips and all that that shit but um, yeah no it was really good and the choreography was very interesting it was super you know very uh, like heaving like very kind of like primal dark um, uh, movements that are very uh, interesting to watch and you know it's it's great to watch people like use their bodies in that way um, and yeah I really loved it. This was a very dramatic piece and especially it gave me a sense of evil an evil power somehow taking over her body which was quite original for a piece of Walt's classic music. Uh, it was very elegant as well. I really liked it. Uh, great job. This was so dark and enchanting. The video and the song together um, gave me this very haunted feeling, especially um, like the house, the, the set, but especially the second woman who we saw kind of just standing there almost lurking. Um, the main character, her performance was so raw and emotional and you know it was it was clear that she was troubled and she was experiencing this intense grief um and it you know with her hair messy and her movements just emoting so much it reminded me of like the wild woman archetype um who is just very powerful and uncaged and uninhibited and 
ah, I, I felt like such an intimate thing that she was sharing with us and I'm like happy that I got to see it.